Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the error cache miss error message you're coming across on your Google Chrome web browser. And this tutorial is being performed on Windows 11, but should apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 computers, laptops, tablets as well. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the search menu, type in CMD, best result, should go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. So again, IPCONFIG space forward slash flush DNS. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. It should come back a Windows IP configuration to successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and just type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Once again, exactly how you see it on my screen here. Go ahead and hit enter. Should come back will successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must reset the computer in order to complete the reset. So go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. So hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. If you're still having an issue, you can try opening up your Chrome browser and then select the setting icon in the top right corner and then select more tools and select clear browsing data. You don't have to keep everything checkmarked here, but you definitely want to keep cookies and other site data checked and time range, make sure it's set to all time. Go ahead and select clear data and give it a moment here. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. Relaunch the browser and then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do a buzz that will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.